Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing quite a few liquid lipsticks. Um, I started this project a couple of months ago and I gotta say, I got a little carried away with it. I was only intending on doing, say, seven or eight liquid lipsticks, which is the normal size to have in one video. And then after I tested that many and I didn't find one that I even really liked enough to have it be a winner, I just kept going. Because especially for mature lips, which is what I'm testing it for, it's very hard to make them work. Does it creep up into my lip lines? Does it settle in my lip creases? Does it generally make my lips look older and more wrinkly? What makes a liquid lipstick successful for you um, is very subjective and it will be different from person to person. So depending on if you're someone who like demands all day wear and all day color out of something, then one could work really well for you. But say you don't care about that and you just want something that's comfortable to wear, then it's going to be a completely different one. So if I hate one that you love, don't be offended. If I love one that you hate, also don't be offended. What I have for you today is 14 liquid lipsticks. So this is a combination of both drugstore and high-end. Last point I wanted to make is that uh, in order to test just the lipstick, I don't use it with a primer and I don't use it with a liner. And of course, all of these probably could be improved with those things. But anyway, please try to ignore where I have my lips on crooked. It's just hard to see on the little monitor and if I look in my close-up mirror to do it, you, you guys can't see what I'm doing. So we have a lot to go over today, so let's get right into it, starting with the worst and working our way up to the best. Um, the worst one of this bunch was by far Butter London Lippy. This retails for $18 for 0.2 ounces and it comes in 12 shades. The shade I got it in is Trout Pout. Butter London included a standard doe foot applicator. This is much more like a standard traditional lip gloss than a liquid lipstick. It does go on easily, but it's very sticky feeling. It has a very sheer, uneven coverage that is not opaque. It gathers into lip creases. They claim that this is highly pigmented which it is not. Um, trying to build up the color just gives you a patchy, terrible look that leaves the color gathered in your lip creases, bunched up at the corners of your mouth, and looking awful. It travels way up into the lip wrinkles above the lip within the first hour. It only left a slight stain of gloss with a little bit of color after lunch, and it left a crusty stain of color that lasted for about six hours, and it looked bad the entire time. It was one of the more comfortable feeling formulas, though. It felt comfortable for most of the day. Next up is a product that gets a lot of love on social media. It is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. It retails for $20 for 0.22 ounces and it comes in 44 shades. I picked it up in the shade Requiem, so you'll see me with purple lips here. This has a standard doe foot applicator that is very easy to use. The formula is so lightweight and creamy. The coverage is almost opaque with one coat and it leaves behind a low luster shine before it goes completely matte. This looked fine to start, but it didn't do anything to make the lips look smoother or better. It did not transfer up into the lip wrinkles, but it did gather up in the lip creases, making them look more textured and worn off in the wet line within the first hour. It was only slightly faded after four hours, but it did make lips look dry and wrinkly. And at eight hours, it was still on, but I won wanted to take it off after the first hour, so no good. All right, next up is one that I thought was gonna be fantastic, but really was awful, and this was the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. It retails for $24 for 0.13 ounces, and it comes in 20 shades. The shade I picked it up in is Baja Bound. I did like the diamond-shaped fuzzy doe foot applicator. The Smashbox was kind of a stiff, drier formula that was a little bit hard to work with. It skips over dry skin and looks streaky. It feels very drying from the get-go, but I gotta say I love this color. If I could have this in a different formula, I would take it. For the wear on this one, after lunch it was cracked and crusty and worn off in the wet line. On the wrinkles, this one did not travel up into the vertical lip lines, but it did make lips look dry and wrinkly in the mid portion of the lip. At four hours, it looked so bad, dry, cracked, flaking, with holes in the color, <laughs> that I really wanted to take it off. Next up is Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. This retails for $18 for 0.17 ounces, and it comes in 30 shades with two finishes. The shade I used it in is Naked. This one goes on smoothly. It feels sticky at first, and then it dries and sets. 
but it's not opaque with one coat. It definitely needs two coats to get it up to full opacity. It doesn't creep up into the upper lip wrinkles, but it does settle into the um, creases on the lower lips. The color lasted well for about four hours, but it felt dry. After dinner, there was a slight stain of color left behind, but it was cracked and crumbling off. Next up is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick. This one retails for $20 for 0.14 ounces, and it comes in 35 shades. The shade I picked it up in is lovely. It has a standard doe foot applicator that was easy to use. It's a very creamy formula that feels great when it glides on over your lips. The coverage is opaque and it has a very matte finish even though it does go on a little shiny. But the matte unfortunately does make the lips look a little more crinkly than they are without. This one was completely transfer proof. It didn't uh, migrate up into the upper lip wrinkles. It didn't gather into the lip creases. This was very long lasting with the color lasting for nine to 12 hours on the lips, but it did crack and start to flake off a bit after about eight hours. It felt very drying from the beginning, but actually my lips kind of acclimated to it about halfway through the day and it didn't feel so drying anymore. Next liquid lipstick is from Giorgio Armani. This is the Armani Lip Magnet. This is $38 for 0.13 ounces and comes in 18 shades. The shade I picked it up in is Glow. This one has a pointed doe foot applicator that makes it really easy to work with. It has a soft, comfortable feel and a glossy finish. It does make lips look plump and not wrinkled. After I ate lunch, it was about half worn off, but there was like a stain of color that was left on my lips that did last for about nine hours. It did transfer onto cups and people. This was comfortable to wear for the first three to four hours. Then it started to dry out my lips and by the end of the day it was so drying. My lips felt cracked and peeling. Next up is a drugstore brand. This is from Maybelline. It's their Vivid Matte Liquids. This is $7.99 for 0.14 ounces and it comes in 20 shades. I got it in Nude Flush. This one has a flat sponge tip applicator that makes application difficult and clumpy around the edges and the corners. It does glide over the lips and feel nice and creamy. One coat is a little streaky and patchy, two coats are opaque. It has a soft shine and it stays creamy feeling and doesn't dry back. The lip texture is minimized and lips look smoother. On the wrinkles, it transferred up into the upper lip wrinkle and it did settle into the lip creases within three hours. But a stain of color lasted about seven to nine hours with major fading and settling. It did feel comfortable for most of the day to wear. My lips weren't papery looking at the end of the day. There's another drugstore brand. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Lip Color. This retails for $8.49 for 0.14 ounces and it comes in 43 shades. I picked it up in the shade Blushed Mauve. This one has a standard doe foot applicator that was easy to use. The the liquid lipstick glides over the lips and feels nice, but the application was a little bit difficult because you have to leave your mouth open for 60 seconds while it dries, otherwise it's very tacky and your lips will stick together. Then you apply the top coat balm, which is like a solid waxy balm. The coverage was opaque. It left a very shiny finish with a metallic sheen. This one has a weird plasticky feel on my lips that I just really did not enjoy. And it smells like Kool-Aid. It didn't travel up into the lip wrinkles and it doesn't settle into the lip creases, but it did crack and flake off out of them, making lip texture more pronounced after just three hours. And it wears off where the lips meet. The color lasted on the lips for about eight to 10 hours with very little fading, but it did crack and flake off, as I said, deep in the lip creases. The color was transfer proof, but the top balm does come off on cups and people. It felt comfortable and not drying all day. I did reapply the balm several times throughout the day. I didn't like the metallic finish on these and I didn't like the cracking. Up next is the NYX Lip Lingerie. This retails for $7 for 0.13 ounces and it comes in 24 shades. The shade I got it in is called Cashmere Silk. This one has an elongated flat tipped sponge applicator and that made it really easy to apply the liquid lipstick quickly and precisely without leaving too much product on the lips. It glides over the lips. It feels very fluffy and creamy. One coat was a little streaky, but I did apply a second coat and that made it opaque. It goes on with a soft shine that dries back to a full matte within about four or five minutes. But once it sets up, it is matte 
and dry and completely transfer proof. It did not transfer up into my lip wrinkles, but throughout the day it did settle a little bit into the lip creases on like my lower lip after about three hours of wear. And it does wear off a little bit where the lips touch together at the wet line. The color lasted a good eight to 10 hours throughout a couple of meals, a couple of snacks. It did feel slightly drying throughout the day, but my lips didn't show the signs of dryness at the end of the day. All right, you guys, are you ready to hear about the top five? Oh, I sure am. Okay, the um, fifth from the best is Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Cream. This retails for $28 for 0.11 ounces and it comes in six shades. I got it in the color Slow Burn. It comes with the standard doe foot applicator that did make it a little harder to apply. It clumped at the top edge and was less precise than some of the other applicators. The lipstick is creamy and smooth with a satin finish. It feels very lightweight and comfortable on the lips but it doesn't dry down. It didn't really settle into creases or most of the day, but it did sort of towards the end of the day. It lasted pretty well through lunch, but it did transfer onto cups and utensils. It was still on after five and a half hours, and there was a stain of color left after dinner at about nine hours. It was comfortable for about the first six hours, and then it started to feel dry, but overall it was comfortable to wear uh, for most of the day. Coming up next is from L'Oreal. It is their infallible lip paint. This retails for $9.99 for 0.14 ounces, and it comes in 14 shades. The shade I got it in is Spicy Blush. I absolutely loved their designer applicator. It's a concave slanted fuzzy doe foot that makes putting this on a breeze. It glides over the lips and feels creamy and wet. One coat was a little streaky and patchy, but you could build it up. Two coats were definitely opaque. It has a wet shine and it doesn't dry back. My lip texture was minimized and my lips looked smooth when I first applied it. Unfortunately, since it doesn't dry back, it did migrate and feather up into that lip wrinkle within the first hour, and it did settle into the lip creases on the body of the lip within three hours. It wears off where the lips meet after a meal. The color lasted about eight to 10 hours, but it was more like a stain of color on my lips. It transfers onto cups and people. This felt comfortable and not drying to wear at all through the entire day. I really liked how it looked for most of the day and that it stays creamy so you can reapply it so when it does start to wear off at the wet line you can just put on a little bit more if you could keep it from traveling up into the upper lip wrinkles with a liner this would be really quite a winner all right next up is the liquid lipstick from Tarte Tartus quick dry lip paint this retails for $20 for 0.20 ounces and it comes in 26 shades. The shade I got it in is called Bounce and I'm absolutely obsessed with this color. This one has a cupped doe foot applicator that's tapered and very similar to the one from the L'Oreal Infallible. This one has a very liquidy wet formula that goes on shiny and then it dries back quickly to a matte finish. It feels drying on the lips from minute one, but the coverage is smooth and opaque and matte. This one is completely transfer proof. It did not budge. It didn't transfer up into my lip wrinkle. It didn't settle into any lip creases all day. The color stayed on for nine to 12 hours, except where the lips meet. It looked good from a distance, but up close my lips did look and feel more dry and wrinkled. It was fairly uncomfortable to wear though from the get-go. So the drying quality was really kind of the biggest drawback to this one. Second best in my humble opinion from Julep. This is their It's Whipped Matte Lip Mousse. It retails for $20 for 0.14 ounces and it comes in 12 shades. The shade I got it in is Bisou. This one has an hourglass shaped applicator that I gotta say was a little hard to work with, but the coverage is definitely opaque with one coat it has a soft satin finish that's not completely matte and true to their claims it actually did minimize the appearance of lip lines and I felt that it made my lips look nice and smooth it did not transfer or feather up into my lip wrinkles it did settle into the lip creases throughout the day the color was about half worn off after about eight hours and I think that this was one of the best looking ones for the longest amount of time during the day it was very comfortable to wear, but my lips did feel slightly dry by the end of the day. And the winner in this epic round of liquid lipstick testing 
is the one that was the least expensive and with the best name. This is Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. It retails for $4.99 for 0.21 ounces and it comes in 13 shades. I actually got two. The one I'm wearing today is called Pink Really Hard. The one that I'm wearing in the demo is called Rebel Rose. This one has an applicator that's like the applicator winner of this contest. It feels very, very creamy and it glides over the lips. It is a super pigmented formula that you can get full opacity in one coat like I did with Rebel Rose. It does go on with a wet shine that dries back to a matte finish. Lip texture is minimized and the lips look smooth. This formula is completely transfer proof. It does not travel up into your lip wrinkles all day and did not settle into any lip creases either. It lasted in the wet line better than just about any of the other lipsticks. The color lasted on the lips for a good 10 to 12 hours through multiple meals, snacks, and drinks with no fading. It feels fairly comfortable and not drying to wear for about the first five hours. Then it did start to feel a little bit drying and was making my lip texture look a little more pronounced later in the day. But I gotta say, overall, it looked fantastic for most of the day. So it was a tight race between the three at the top. They were each good in their own way. So between the three of these, I'm pretty sure that you could be able to find something that you really like unless you're going for comfort, in which case I'd say go for the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint. All right, so that is it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. And if you are on the hunt for a perfect liquid lipstick for your mature lips, I hope that you found something here that you can try and actually love. If you like these epic testing videos, go ahead and hit that like button so that I know that you like them and I will continue to do more of these in the future. Thanks for your time. I really appreciate your watching and I'll see you in the next video. So have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.